All right, here we go. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about the ignition system. It's warm. So, uh, yeah, we've been out running it. And uh, so if, if it's wintertime, this is a nice thing. Okay. If it's summertime, it's not so it's nice. It's not so bad. Magnetos here that... That's these big black units. Right. And, uh, and you can see they're attached to these yellow wires that run out to the cylinders. We've got a spark plug in each cylinder on the top. And you can't see it quite as well, but on the bottom we've got spark plugs uh, on the bottom. So we've got two spark plugs per every cylinder. Any idea why we might have two spark plugs per cylinder? Redundancy. Redundancy. So mm -hmm. if we have one that goes bad. Yeah. Uh, also spark plug sales. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, one thing I want to point out is that the magnetos are, are a uh, completely self-contained little uh, generator type of a thing. So a so, magneto is kind of like an alternator in a car. Well, not really. Uh, the alternator in your car charges the battery. Right. Uh, th what the magnetos do on an aircraft engine is they provide the ignition source for... So they're like a starter. No. I'm missing, I'm like batting zero. All right. They're like a magneto. A magneto uh, in the automotive world might be compared to a distributor ah, okay. or a electronic ignition system or something like that. Every internal combustion engine needs an ignition source. It yes. needs a way to light the fire inside of the cylinder. On the aircraft, they used a magneto because uh, there's an important reason for that. The magneto requires no outside power source to make it work. So I could take that magneto out of the airplane, hold it in my hand, and I could, um, and I could operate it in my hands, and it would generate a spark. So I don't have to have a battery or anything to make it work, which is important to you as a pilot because if you're flying along one day and and say your alternator quits working, you lose all the electrical power in the airplane for whatever reason. You don't really want the engine to quit. No. You want this thing to just keep running no matter what. So we have a completely separate system in the magneto. It, it operates independent of everything else. We've got two magnetos on the engine, totally independent of each other. And then we've got the uh, wiring that runs out to the spark plugs. We call these ignition leads. And we've got the spark plugs, two per cylinder we mentioned. So um, when we're doing an annual inspection, we open the cowling up. The first thing we're gonna do is just kind of get a, a general look at things, make sure that things look like they're in good working order. Um, you know, look at the leads. Uh, sometimes you'll see these things where they've been rubbing on pr parts of the engine or parts of the cowling. And if it rubs long enough, then, then the spark can leak out of that and into the... Uh, really? So if the yeah. shielding gets stripped away, it'll actually jump? Because, you know, imagine uh, this, this wire is kind of, it's almost like a little hose under high pressure uh, with a liquid in it or something. If, if you give um, a place for that spark to go, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out of there. 